Yo, we're back with Josh Answers. I wish it was catchier. I'll be honest with you. I wish it was catchier. It's not as catchy as Josh Jams, but like, what else do I call it? If you got ideas, let me know. If you're new here, what's up? If you're old here and you haven't subscribed yet, I have to say it. I, ha I have to say it. Please subscribe. Okay. Uh, today we have a new uh, question from Reddit. It's under the Musicians Forum. Salami Mommy says, booking places. Hey guys, me and my brother have been playing dive bars and restaurants for about a year now. I feel like sometimes we still have some trouble getting in some places and back in some that we've played before, even though the crowds loved us. It seems often I'll get a restaurant that won't message us back, which I understand they're trying to run their business. In ways that makes you feel like I suck or don't so great or don't so great even though tip wise and crowd wise we do well does anyone have any encouragement or tips to help us get in more places let's go i do it's your old buddy josh jams what's up okay let's think about it um so this is like a two-parter right part of it is just trying to get a hold of places in general so let's start there and then we'll talk about getting booked back at places that you're already playing at um once you've already kind of crossed that threshold so out of the gate you're trying to find more places to play at what you need to do is be aware of your surroundings, right? I mean, like be aware of places that other people play at. If you're on Instagram or TikTok or wherever, and you're not following other musicians, well, first of all, shame on you. Second of all, start following other people you see. Um, you know, you don't have to be their best friend. You don't have to be their fan per se. And it's not spying either. It's just being like, you know, being a part of the musical community and maybe you'll make friends, maybe you'll jam. I don't know crazier things have happened. But what I'm trying to say is that you want to see where these people are playing at. You want to see where they're at, what they're doing, the venues that are having them. That'll give you pretty quickly a lay of the land. You know, if I see that my crew, my buddies over at String Theory in Greensburg are playing at, you know, I don't know, six different places next month. Yeah, I'll look at where they're playing at just to get an idea of what's going on. I actually hit them up today. I was like, hey, guys, does Invisible Man Brewing have a stage? I didn't know that. And you know, you get to get a sense of the surroundings. So you want to be able to kind of like take tabs of what venues would actually book you in the first place. And your best way to do that is to find musicians that are already booked there. And you know, depending on the relationship, you can even ask them like, hey, who do I talk to? Is there a manager to talk to? Is the, they might even give you insight on how much they get paid there if they're really nice. I don't know. Um, once you do that and at least establish the fact that there's a venue that has bands, go there, go in person. Even better, go on a night that a musician's performing. That way you get a twofer. They get to see that you're out supporting the community and you'll be able to go to the venue and ask, hey, uh, who booked this band today? They're great. I'll be like, oh, that was Sally in the back. Oh, can I say th thank you to Sally for this band? Hey, Sally, by the way, while I'm here, I play too. This place is awesome. Can I send you some of my stuff? Sure. Bing, bang, boom. All right, I'm gonna email you tomorrow, Sally. Does that sound good? Create a date. <laughs> Tell them it's coming because I can tell you that what you're experiencing here in these restaurants and venues or whatever, it's completely normal. Like I, no one ever emails back. Sorry to my friends that booked me around here. Uh, but early on when you're trying to get a hold of someone, good luck because honestly, you're the last priority. You're the last priority of the last priority, which is the music. They care about their staff, the food, are they making the money? Is the beer selling right? What, is the liquor sales going well? How many shots are left in the bottle? Are we over pouring customers? You think they give crap about the musician that's saying, hey, can I play here on the weekend? That sounds great. No. But if you understand that, then you won't feel so bad reaching out again and again and again and again. And sometimes you have to. And I will tell you that this is probably a video for another day. This is part of the reason why I started putting content on TikTok. Because I was like, hey, I can send five emails a day or I can just start making videos of my shows and chances are they'll see that before they see the email, right? I'd rather make a cool video than make a, a very worthy, well uh, worded email, clearly. So that's what I'm trying to say is that get out there, make some content and hopefully that'll be a way for you to get a hold of these people. So get a hold of them, you track them down, you finally play a show there. And then the second part of this question is you play the show, you think it's going well, people are vibing out. I don't know. Maybe they're dancing. They're throwing money in the tip jar, right? You're saying it, it, it went well, right? The first thing I got to say, this is a caveat. Don't get mad at me. Did it really go well? Did it really go well? Because if, if it went really, really well, they'd be trying to find another date. And what does well mean? Because well to you might be that they enjoyed it and they also put some money in the tip jar, but well to the bar or restaurant or whatever the hell, that means they made more money than they paid you. So understand that relationship, understand what well means to them. And honestly, when you're booking a place, it's okay to ask the manager, like, what's success look like? 
when you have a band do really well here, what's that like? Are they just crushing it? Are they, you know, what, how does your sales change? It's not a crazy thing to ask them how their numbers do when you're playing a show there. Maybe it's not the norm, but that's the way they're thinking. So if you're thinking that way too, as I touch my beanie, I realize I'm wearing a beanie tonight. Yeah, I'm on my Steve Zissou. That's the way they're thinking. So if you're thinking the way that they're thinking, great. See what I'm saying? You want to be aware of what actual good is. That way you're not wondering or guessing, did we do okay? Um, but yeah, let's say you did You did great. People are dancing. They're rocking out, right? And the next day, it's like 50 first dates with a the bar. They have amnesia. They don't even know that you were there. And you can't, you're knocking on the door again. What's going on, right? Now, I'll tell you the move for you, if it's not your first show, if it's your second show, and they've already established they like you, immediately, if they're booking you on a second show, the move for sure is be like, hey, uh, when I play shows, I like to promote another show in advance. Can we look at the next month or two and find another date in the future? That way, when I'm playing there and it's going great, we can shout out that I'll be back here next month and really start to build. Great move. Booking shows in advance, not just one-offs, right? But for the, let's say it's your first time there, it's going well, they never get back to you again. It happens, you know, back to my first point. Maybe it didn't go great for them. Maybe they just didn't like the music you were playing. There's one time we played at this place, my band back in the day, and the manager's just like, uh, the owner doesn't like that song, so don't play it. Okay, I didn't realize he didn't like that Bob Marley song. I'll let you guess which one it was. Guess in the comments which Bob Marley song he didn't like. Uh, but that's the point is that you just never really know. So the, if, if it is, you, you did your best and they just for some reason are not having you back, the last piece of the puzzle that I'll definitely encourage you to do, and I need to do it myself more, I'm not the best at this, but this is the idea behind taking contacts down when you play a show. And I've been getting better and better at converting people to my Instagram by just shouting it out. But like the good thing, the move, the right move, the correct move is to get their email address. Because what is happening is you're playing a one-off show, right? You play there once, they never get back to you. It goes well for that crowd, but that crowd has no idea how to find you again. And you're not playing that venue again. And so what you have to do is build this community of people that can support you. That way, when you go to restaurant and say, hey, I have a mailing list of 500 people, that when I hit them up and say, I'm playing at Bella Terra this weekend, they're coming. That's the move. Also, what it does is that when they don't get back to you, you don't lose that crowd to that venue. They're coming with you, right? Like those people are gonna come to the next place you get once you finally book the spot. So the thing is like, you're doing all this work anyways. You're booking the shows, it, you, there's stuff that's out of your control, they're gonna have you back, are they not? I don't know. But if you put the things that are, are in control of yours into control, one, be in the community, be aware, ask meet people even if you're not trying to book a show right now still meet the booking manager when you play the show make sure you understand what success is and lastly is that when you have a crowd rocking capture that crowd's contact information so when you leave there and the venue does whatever the hell you can take them with you and by the way if you go to joshjams.com i do have a mailing list it's somewhere on there i gotta update my website i have to do it too listen if this was helpful let me know in the comments it's been another episode of josh answers let me know a better name if you have one too. Again, subscribe. Uh, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.